Hello and welcome to a brand new video. I finally had a beautiful sunshiny day and got to go out and take some pictures that I've been wanting to take for a while now. I was gifted a vintage Polaroid camera for Christmas and I have been dying to take photos on it. Not in a candid sort of way, but in a we plan a session and go out and take photos with the Polaroid kind of way. That's exactly what we did. My friend Sydney, who you've seen quite a few times, and I went out to a local harbor. Our inspiration for this photo shoot was Mamma Mia, so we were going for a vintage 70s bohemian sort of vibe. And I knew that we were going to take photos on my DSLR because I only had five Polaroid frames left to use, and I thought it would be kind of a waste to drive all the way out and spend all this time getting ready and only take five photos. So I went ahead and I brought my DSLR. So I used that as an opportunity to warm up. Usually it takes me five to 10 minutes before I find my groove and I didn't want to waste any of the film that I had because Polaroids are very expensive now. As a warm up, not my best work, but after a little bit, I was able to find my groove. Where we were shooting, there's this little lighthouse that's like a dedication to the harbor. It's just so darling that I just wanted to take advantage of that scenery. By this point, I felt comfortable enough to bring out the Polaroid and take our first photo on that of the day. Something I love about working with Sydney is that after a little while, she also finds her groove for being in front of the camera and she comes up with these just really fun poses and has great movement and facial expressions once we really get into the groove of shooting. After hogging the lighthouse area for long enough, we made our way towards these docks that are just kind of behind it and it made it to where this little girl who I guess had been watching us, she ran towards the lighthouse and stood where Sydney was standing and kind of created her own little movie moment that she saw Sydney do. It was really cute. Having only two Polaroids left in my camera at this point, we decided to make our way back towards this covered archway that we had passed on our way down to the actual water. And this was the best place to shoot as it was approaching noon because it was completely covered. So we had really awesome shade, which made for some really nice even lighting. And there was also this steakhouse that had an awning that had these really nice black and white stripes and I love a good stripe. And so it just really added this nice little set piece that I just absolutely loved. And while we were taking photos here, we were making jokes about how it looked like that Sydney was this old Hollywood star who had run away on a little Roman holiday. Oh, it's like hot. Is that like you can get
And it was in this area that we took our last Polaroid of the day. I ended up not using all of them, so I have one left in my camera. But this last one that we took is my absolute favorite. <laughs> I love how the green tones turned out and I don't know there's just something about it the colors in this because we were in a shaded area look different from the other ones but I just I don't know this one I just really love all right so wrap up final thoughts time I love the photos that we took I love the digital photos that I took and I love the Polaroids that I took I just I haven't been to this harbor before and it's been a location on my list that I've been wanting to use for a while so to finally check it off was very satisfying and it was just it was just a nice spring day it was a little chilly sitting on a little cold I'm sorry Sydney thank you for toughing it out but it was just it was just a lovely time and I'm just really happy with the photos that we took even though it was like midday sun and that's not the best for like shadows on the face but despite that I still really love them and I don't think the shadows are too terrible on the ones that like really have them. I think they kind of add something. And the Polaroids were very interesting because once I took it, I had to wait for it to develop. And so I didn't know what it kind of looked like until we had already moved away from that area and we're already working on different poses in a different place. Of the little area and so to see how some of the colors turned out I've only used <laughs> this camera a few times and I'm still trying to get the hang of it and how it behaves in certain lighting conditions and I know that there's a toggle to where you can overexpose and underexpose but I'm still trying to get the hang of it so the ones that were in direct sunlight they have this very vintage wash to them I don't hate it by any means I think it really adds a certain layer to the vintage look that we were going for and this one is actually Sydney's favorite so Sydney I'm gonna give this one to you but yeah they're just they're really they're really neat I don't know there's just something about the colors they just look truly vintage some of them have these weird spots that weren't on the lens so I need some water oh my goodness but some of them have these spots on them and they're not on the other ones so it wasn't on the lens i don't know if it's just how there i don't know if there was something on the film or or what but i don't know they're really neat i love them they're so much fun i would absolutely do this again i love shooting digital alongside film because they they just look so different from each other and i just i love that about it but what i love about the polaroids is that I now have this like nifty little novelty souvenir to remember this photo session by even though I have the the photos that I took I don't know this just this is different and I just I really love it I I want to do this again so badly it was so much fun um, but Polaroids are a little expensive so that'll be another time but if you have one um, and you haven't done something like this with it I highly recommend if you're willing to you know spend ten dollars and have these uh, <laughs> but yeah it was just so much fun so inspiring i feel creatively energized just sitting here talking about it and that's all that i have for you today if you stuck around to the end thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i hope you have a super lovely day if you would like to see more don't forget to subscribe leave a like you like all the good youtube jazz and i will see you next time bye